All right, guys, what's going on? It's Jack, and welcome back to another video. And uh, day three out of three, so let's uh, let's keep it going, shall we? So, yesterday I was uh, working on a on a personal project, and I just happened to also be kind of watching Home Alone, and I just quickly realized how much Buzz resembled Crim Six, and actually, to a certain degree, uh, Kevin actually reminded me of Scump. So I'm like Scump and Crim Six. Holy shit! But uh, I, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. But um, on a more slightly serious note, um, both of these guys are pretty much known as goats of Call of Duty, right? Crim6 has won the most tournaments. Scump is, has been arguably the best player ever. So the biggest thing to take away from this is now both of these gentlemen are retired now right so my assumption is that well because they're always going to have ties to call of duty because that's actually where they came from well in my eyes i kind of can't help but think that well even even there there may not be any more contracts or maybe who knows there might be or maybe the ones that they've signed already might have had some sort of implications that say hey you're still not allowed to talk about blah 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 or whatever i don't know but with that being said, uh, these guys right now, it's basically time for them to like step up and to speak up even more about the BS that's going on with, uh, with Call of Duty at this point. As I mentioned briefly, briefly in my last video, you really can't trust like anywhere from the top, uh, anywhere from 95 to 99% of the people that are big names in the community, right? Because they don't have your best interests at heart. They have their best interests at heart and they like their money and they want to keep making it and they don't care who they have to lie to in order to get it. This is most of the popular Call of Duty community, no matter what. I mean, this is something, whether we realize it or not, that's just, that's just the truth, right? Especially guys that are in the big name organizations, you know, and, and to put it, and to put it shortly, you know, I mean, I've already made it known that Overall, Crim6 was my best, was my favorite uh, Call of Duty Pro player. But with that being said, I never subscribed to him, and I never subscribed to Scump or any member of Optic for that matter either, or any member of Phase or some of these other guys or whatnot. Because, well, um, at the same time, I can also tell that they're full of shit and that money is their number one priority, right? Especially when you look at the sponsorships and everything else. So, you know, and, and let's not mention the fact that, you know, right now at this point, these guys are at a uh, are at a point right now to where they're definitely making more money uh, that a lot of the old OG school uh, OG players like uh, like guys like Aix or whatnot that have paved the way. Uh, and even Scump and Crim6 have been in it for from from the start as well when it started slowly but surely picking up. So, um, you know, these these pros have paved the way for the for the players to be where they're at now. I mean, granted, uh, I don't think any of them really agreed with franchising, but uh, this is what happens when um, when the video game industry and corporate interests meet. You know, Dave Chappelle said it best. And who knows? I might even play the clip on here. Who knows? I might or I might not. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to find it and then cut it down and edit it, download it, whatever. But anyway, uh, he, I'll just quote him. He said, you know. You guys don't know, he was basically, this was an Inside the Actor's Studio episode where Dave Chappelle was the guest. And uh, he said, he said to, he spoke to the audience and he said, you guys don't know where art and corporate interests meet. And just be prepared to have your hearts broken. And they all laughed, including, including the host as well. Um, and the thing is, he knows. I mean, they know. I mean, uh, when it comes to this shit, you know. So, uh, when it comes to corporate interests and all that other stuff, I mean, look. Ever since, ever since the, ever since the Call of Duty community has been uh, franchised, so to speak, in terms of uh, the pro scene, you know, things have been going nuts. And especially ever since the patent, the pub side of things have been going nuts as well. It's getting to the point to where people are believing their own lies. You got, you got uh, players over here that are using Cronus Zens or. Uh, whatever to get to give them a, an edge uh, whether it's to a major advantage whether they use everything that's available or whether they just use a couple things and they'll just be like no I'm just using this you know for a little bit more aim assist or a little bit of extra quick draw man it's it's I'm good 
<laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Newsflash, you're not. You know, it gets it's getting to the point now to where everybody is starting to believe their lies. And guess who the most gullible people are? Think about it for a second. Who are the most gullible people in the Call of Duty community? Some of the most gullible people in the Call of Duty community are the younger folks. And you're not going to be seeing people like me following any member of FaZe and those pansies. You're not going to see that. Right? So who are the majority of their of their followers? Guess what? <laughs> kids. You're talking about, and what I mean by kids is anyone from the age of, oh, let's say, eight years old to about 15, 16, hell, maybe even 17 or 18. Right? Because the, matur the maturity level of your average 18-year-old today, I'm sorry to say, and again, average, I'm not necessarily talking about everybody, but I'm talking about the majority. The majority of 18-year-olds today are, um, uh, let's just say, to put it nicely, they're behind for where they should be in terms of maturity level and all that kind of stuff. Why do you, th and, in and hell, even people of my generation, and I'm 38, even people of my generation, a lot of them, and I, and I, I talk to women about it all the time, from dating apps, for instance, like how guys just don't know how to fucking communicate, man. It's, it's, it's really insane. I've heard some insane stories, and I'm like, how old was this person? And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So it all started from my generation and it just had the domino effect of generations that followed. So all you can hope and pray for is that you've had good enough parents in order to kind of show you the way. And sometimes even that's not enough. So, um, so anyway, going back on topic here, these people in the community, a lot of them are believing their own lies, right? They're believing their own lies to the point to where they think they're major shit or what they think they're doing is right, including the people that are doing it in the first place because they've been doing it for so long that it's the norm to them. I believe this is how psychology works as well, right? Like for instance, when you look at a very positive person, they can't help but be positive because that is that is how they've been for a very long time. And when you've been that way for a long time, it's very, very hard to kind of go back to negativity, if at all, because you know, the, the mind likes that sort of thing or whatnot, right? Especially something that's easier. Um, and the same thing goes for the opposite side of things. But it requires work and consistency uh, in order for there to be change. And are most people willing to do the work legitimately? No. Are they willing to be consistent at it? No, they're not. That's just the reality of things. And right now, I mean, at this point, man, the way Call of Duty is going, just to give an example, if people don't start speaking up, you know, we've got we've got a small community that's speaking up, but obviously that's not going to be enough. If we don't get community members like big names or whatnot speaking up when they see the bullshit, um, we're going to be living in a fake world, man. We're going to be living in a world to where uh, cheating and doing things illegitimately and stuff like that is going to be praised i mean hell mediocrity is already praised now at this day and age i mean imagine what would happen imagine what would happen if all of a sudden the navy seal community started lowering its standards one of the reasons why the navy seals are who they are and why they're the badasses that they are both physically and mentally is because they have not lowered their standards over the years they have not lowered their standards that's why so if you start lowering your standards generation upon generation guess what's going to happen it's gonna it's gonna get worse and the first step to solving a problem is to admit that there is one so pro players like crim six and scump for instance karma all you guys you know especially the ones that are retired and, are, and and they're not really in the shit anymore speak up about all the bs that's going on not just within the pro community but things that are going on outside of the pro community and in like in terms of the game development and all that kind of other stuff and, and the patent and stuff like that that make your games rigged because we don't want this shit to spread into other games and into honor genres of games. Um, and to some extent, some say that it already has, and it doesn't surprise me one bit. But anyway, that's uh, I just kind of wanted to make this video. I know this was, was a little bit more serious, but I wanted to put my own two cents on it. Um, and I wanted to kind of uh, speak up as well, uh, especially since there are uh, people out there that are speaking up and that could use more people to speak up. And you know who you are. Why so serious? I know you're one of these people. Uh, you're the one who I'm mainly talking about because you've been uh, you've been working seven days a week and you're sp and you're speaking up and streaming sometimes on hours on end and calling out the bullshit and, and it sucks that you don't have 
and it sucks that you don't have the numbers that some of these guys that cheated to get their way to the way to the top and cut corners to get their way to the top uh have i mean it's it sucks how the most legitimate people um have the lowest amount of numbers man or numbers that have dropped you know because uh yeah <laughs> anyway anyway that's all that's all i got for this one guys uh let me know down in the comment section what your take is on this or whatnot um yeah, I think uh, I think it's time to start solving problems by talking about them. And uh, the amount of people that we have talking about these problems right now just simply isn't enough. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for this one. Let me know down in the comment section. And uh, who knows, maybe even Buzz and Kevin him themselves might <laughs> might hear about this. Who knows? I mean, but at the same time, um, at the same time, it's got to be uh, it's got to be more to it than that. At the end of the day, in order to make a change, not only we're going to need more numbers, but we're also going to need um big time hitters but these motherfuckers love their money and they're just bloodthirsty man for money despite the fact that they've got millions upon millions upon millions but anyway uh but at the same time i start to wonder whether or not you know well no i'm not gonna say that because that's that's negative thinking it's not true I mean, anything can be done, granted you have the uh, the desire and consistency to do so. But anyway, that's all I got for this one, guys. Talk to me down in the comment section. I'll catch you guys on the next one.